So this video is going to be about something uh, I'm interested in and something odd that happens that kind of come together. Sumi A, or Sumi A, I'm not sh quite sure on the pronunciation, is this really interesting form of artwork that I enjoy uh, from Japan. I like it a lot. And um, if you don't know much about Japanese culture and don't recognize the name, there's some similarities to the style of artwork in the cartoon Samurai Jack. Uh, some similarities in the PS2 title Okami, which I think was redone for Wii. Uh, not that I'm s some video game expert by no means, I'm just a casual player. The artwork, though, is, is amazing. Sometimes it's accompanied with poems, uh, usually not. And it's something that I got books on. I got books of examples and then books on how to make it because eventually when I've got things more in order um, settled into a long-term house like one that I think I'm gonna stay at least a decade in if not the rest of my life you know that I have a good relaxing space for so I can relax and, and try my hand at Sumi A. Uh, S-U-M-I and like a dash E. This is how it's spelled in Romaji uh, or Romanji. Uh, English letters. Well, I have two or three kits for it. The first one uh, was a gift, and it was missing one particular piece, which I had everything I knew you needed to make the artwork, so I didn't think much about what it was missing. The second one uh, purchased self and missing that piece. I'm pretty sure I bought that one missing that piece. I don't know. It's been a few years. Well, the, the more recent one, another gift from someone, uh, which is greatly appreciated. It's amazing. I, I love it when people um, realize that I'm into something even if I don't mention it much and then try to make sure I stay interested and give me any things for it. It's a miniature Sumi A kit. Um, it's got these plastic, supposed to be like bone or something, but they're plastic uh, fasteners. Shaped kind of like a folded out folding fan. I'll hold it still for a minute and see if we can get that to focus. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to focus. It throws the focus on the camera off. Well, I'll pop this baby open, and I'll show you what I mean about the missing piece. <laughs> I, I don't know what it is. Even when I go to stores that sell these, um, which sometimes like these mini kits, you'll see in little tourist traps and novelty stores, but even in the big professional ones, this, this one piece is always missing. So... We've got a uh, nice squishy plasticky material with some padding behind it to hold in the brushes. Good selection of brushes. They didn't stick me with two or even one. I've seen some kits like that. We've got our little dishes for mixing, and looks like this one. Uh, it's probably really hard to see. See that red in the lip? I think it's been used. It's stuck together. I'll have to open it up. Oh! Well, hey, that's nice. Tucked down in the side, I found the piece that was missing. Alright! So, <laughs> um, got this bowl and this bowl for mixing, and then this for grinding down the inks. We've got our name stamp. Sometimes I'll see those missing because the person's used them. And usually you only get one name stamp to sign. And what will happen is you try to carve it out. And if you mess up, well, then you got to go buy a new kit. So they might sell the old kit eventually just to get the new name stamp or whatever. Or might take one from a store if they're dishonest. Interesting carving on the top. 
Um, kind of like a square foo dog growling. Got our little, like you'd see for chopsticks, but this is to hold up the brushes while in use. And this is the piece that's usually missing. Ink, perhaps? Not sure. Well, now I know that this one has it. I didn't think it did. That was so odd. Yeah, I go to make this video, and then I just happened to look at it at the correct angle, and it was shoved clear down in the side. Barely noticeable. Well, that's some good luck. <laughs> well, um, if you have any favorite Sumi art pieces you want to show off, uh, or artwork, or want to do a tutorial video of how to make the art, even if, if you're just a beginner, you're probably farther than me, and it would, it would help me and some other people looking to get into the hobby out. Uh, maybe show off your kits. Um, this pattern has a lot of detail to it, but the closer I get to the camera, the more the camera will blur. I'm really happy with the camera. It's never done this to me. I've had striped patterns and checkered patterns. There's something about this. It's a Logitech cam, and it's really nice. Um, there was, I think, the previous video, or I might have posted it after this one, where I said uh, in the beginning I was having some trouble with the camera. Well, it's not really the camera. It's the graphics driver for my graphics card. But it causes trouble with the camera. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, I've been playing around with some new light sources. So that plus this odd pattern, I think, are possibly what's making the video blur out so much. I might have to keep trying on the different light sources. I used to get this rather thick, like, phone book size, we're talking phone book from a big city size catalog that would have studio equipment for audio and recording video and it had some really nice, they look like umbrellas but it's a reflective material and the lights aimed at that so that you don't get glare and it, it sheds a bunch of light. You, you aim what would be the underside of the umbrella on the tripod towards what you're wanting to illuminate and you don't get the direct ball of glare and uh, things like that. I need I need to get a hold of some of those, but I haven't gotten the catalog in years. It's been at least three years since I've gotten an issue. I don't even remember the name of it, and I think all of them are in storage. I might have to try and track something like that down again. You can get everything. I mean, you could build a studio for recording music or really good movie quality stuff from scratch, piece by piece, through that catalog. I think it was something to do with when I had originally bought a Sony Handycam, which I'm a huge fan of Sony Handycams. Logitech's great for vlogging and vlogging, whatever. But the Sony Handycam is good for on-the-go stuff. And uh, right now I just have a little Sony digital cam that's meant for pictures that's been doing up to 720p uh, HD. But the, the Sony Handycam was small, versatile, really useful. I still have it, but when I uh, put most of my belongings in storage, I put the install disk in. And the computer it was previously installed on. So I can't use it. Now, the particular model of Sony Handycam I had, had a, a wide-angle lens that was available that I got, and I was just loving that wide-angle lens but I needed a Zoom microphone, and they didn't make them for that model. So I've been looking at, and it's expensive. I'll probably be spending seven to 800 something, close to 900, on a decent new Sony Handycam, and it would be digital only, which I guess isn't so bad, as long as you back up your, your videos. That way, if anything happens, you've still got them. Um, but I would want to I want to get one that I can do both a wide angle lens because I like wide angle video and a zoom microphone so I can get the audio on what I'm focusing on you know what I'm aimed at what what's the key point of what I'm taking and that zoom mic would help cut down on background noise I'm gonna have to eventually probably get some other audio devices though and maybe some good editing software. Years ago, 
oh, I want to say over 10 years ago, I had uh, really good video editing software. <laughs> but that computer is so obsolete now. Huh. Anyway, any suggestions uh, for free software like that, for audio, video, whatever, or for non-free, just try to keep it, keep your eyes peeled for a good deal, because right now my budget's a little tight. Um, and Sumie is the topic of the video, so if we can get some discussion going, maybe some video replies with some Sumie, that'd be amazing. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I know I had fun making the video. Thank you.